it's a problem that makes you want to pull your hair out. You spend so much time manicuring your lawn, taking the time to mow it, water it. You know, you put forth all this effort just to find out that your dog has been digging under the fence. You know, the moment you let your gaze drop, he just goes off and starts his digging. Having a dog that digs under the fence or around the lawn in general is a common problem. And it makes dog owners go wild with frustration. And I've been there myself many times before. The question runs through your mind every time you glance over a new hole in your yard or near the fence. How do I stop my dog from digging? And it's an expensive problem as well. If you care about your lawn, you probably take the time to repair some of the digging damage. And not long after, you discover your little buddy has torn up a new hole for his amusement. So here in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to stop your dog from digging out your lawn and under the fence and give you some peace of mind. After all, you can't be expected to watch your dog 24 hours of every single day. Obviously, you're eventually going to need to take a shower, cook dinner, put your baby to bed, or do some other task you know, that requires your own personal time. So these tips will show you dog training to stop digging behavior, as well as build trust between you and your pet. Now let's just take a look at why your dog is digging. Uh, there are many reasons your dog is digging under the fence, but there are three fundamental reasons for his digging. And once you know the root cause of his digging obsession, you can take the right steps to stop your dog from digging out your lawn. So your dog is going to dig primarily for either escape, for comfort, or for attention. So in each one of these, there's a corresponding training response associated with the root cause. Let's look at the first one, escape. Your dog may have the urge to escape in order to get something, explore, or just go somewhere in his field of vision. And it's a very common scenario. The biggest hint that your dog is digging to escape is when he digs along the fence line or under the fence. So here are some recommendations for that. The first is to install chicken wire, and what you can do is you can line the bottom of the fence with chicken wire that lays about two feet from the fence line, and this is going to stop the digging in no time. Your dog is going to be deterred by the feeling of the chicken wire on his paws, and it's going to stop him before any damage is done. Now initially, setting this up will take a few hours, but think of all the time you're going to save in future groundskeeping. You want to ensure that the sharp edges of the wire are facing the opposite side of the fence so your dog won't hurt himself on the other side you know when he starts digging he'll just feel the um, the chicken wire against his paws it's not going to hurt him it's just going to be uncomfortable and he'll stop doing it next you want to try burying rocks along the baseline of the fence or along the ground where he's digging up if setting up chicken wire sounds like a little too much work you just implant or bury rocks along the baseline of the fence your dog is going to give up quickly when he starts digging right into the rocks Another option is burying the fence deep. When you set up the fence, you want to plant the base two feet below the ground. This strategy doesn't necessarily prevent the digging, but it is a safety measure to ensure your dog doesn't actually escape. Another important thing to do is check for inviting prey. You want to look for signs of nesting animals along the fence's baseline to see if your dog is trying to catch something. Depending on where you live, there might be a whole host of distractions on the other side of the fence. Second fundamental reason for your dog digging is comfort. Now, hot weather is a powerful digging trigger to your dog's subconscious. Your dog digs in hot weather to find a spot in the underlying cool dirt in which to lay. And it's a fairly smart strategy from a dog's perspective, actually. Conversely, your dog may dig in cool weather to warm himself with the surrounding ground. So be aware of the telltale sign. Your dog may dig for comfort if you find he's laying in the holes quite often. And dog houses work very well for this. They prevent the digging. One of the easiest solutions is to build or buy your dog an insulated dog house outside. Uh, ensure that it provides protection from wind as well as sun. And you don't have to go overboard with the dog house, but think of it as an investment in your lawn. If you build or buy one that's versatile, it's going to last a lifetime. And by versatile, I mean try to find one that has removable sides or windows or windows that can be covered up, and this is going to make it more useful in both hot and cold weather. You also want to make sure you keep your dog hydrated. Make sure you leave out a water dish that can easily be accessed by your dog outside. When your dog is hydrated properly, his body temperature is going to cool and make him more comfortable. 
and on particularly hot days, throw some ice cubes in the water bowl. He's going to love it. Attention. This is the third fundamental reason for the digging. When you're just not showing your dog enough attention, he's going to start digging to get it. And yes, your admonishment of his behavior, it's still considered attention. A good indicator that your dog is digging for attention is when you've repeatedly corrected him and he makes it a point to dig in front of you. Your dog may also dig for attention if you hadn't had much time lately for training, exercising him, or just showing him some, some love with you know petting and positive reinforcement. So here are some recommendations. You want to have a safe zone. You want to set up an area in the yard that has some cover from wind and sun and establish this as the safe digging zone for your dog. You can pick a place near your fence that's less visible to passerbys. You also want to manage your time. Don't just ignore this red flag. Start spending more time with your dog. You should spend at least one hour a day training your dog. And that doesn't include exercise time or general walks. If you don't have time for your dog, then you really shouldn't have gotten a dog. <laughs> the neglect of your dog, it's ultimately going to lead to anxious behavior. So make sure you address this behavior problem as soon as possible. And really, you know, if you'd like to discover the shortcut solution on how to keep your dog from digging, you can find it at my website, www.dog-training-works.com. And it's going to give you a great step-by-step -step formula to stop the excessive dog digging within a matter of weeks. So check it out right now. End this problem for good. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.